So, if you like to use the back focus button, like on this Nikon D850, and you figured out how much better your focusing is using that versus the shutter focus, I got a piece of news here for you that I found out about being able to have dual back autofocusing buttons, this and this multi-selector button. You can customize the camera to make the multi selector a second back focus button. For instance, I have my AF on button through my normal focusing mode set to single point mode. So when I use that button to focus, I'm focusing on single point. I'm going to show you how to turn this button into another back focus button to where you can switch back and forth between them based on your needs. Now what I'm going to do is set this button to group autofocus. Therefore, if I'm shooting a bird flying through the sky and I got my group autofocus on and I got nothing but bird and sky, that's the perfect mode, uh, in my opinion, to capture a bird in flight. But let's say that bird comes down to the ground and it gets in front of some trees or some kind of building or some kind of background then your group autofocus or your nine point autofocus goes to hell because it starts grabbing background on you. Well, in this case, you could switch right back to this AF1 button, which is single point, and it'll give you the best option of staying focused on a bird in flight without picking up the background. Now, obviously you couldn't change focus modes in the middle of shooting a bird in flight, but with these two buttons, it now gives you the option to do this. And I found out that it does it on the D5, the D500, and the D850, the three uh, pro bodies from Nikon. So let me show you how to do it. You go into the menu button, and you want to scroll down to your F1 setting, which is controls, F1, custom control assignment. Then you scroll down until you get to the sub-selector focus point. Hit it one more time and you'll be at the sub-selector center. By default, it's set to the AE slash AF lock. If you want to turn that into a second back focus button, you just push your center button there to bring up the next sub-menu. And you want to go up a few spots to AF area mode plus AF on. Hit the right button of your joystick to bring up your menus. And here is where you would go down. And in my case, I'm picking group. But you could pick 9, single, 25, however you want to set your buttons up to work your way. Maybe you put the group on the main and put the secondary to be uh, single. That's up to you. But click on this group area autofocus button. And now your sub-selector center button, as you could see is set to auto focus area mode and AF1. You now have two back focus buttons. This one is set to single, this one is set to group. Birds flying through the sky, you got your group going, all of a sudden background comes into play, you just switch your finger right onto the other button without missing a beat and it gives you the best chance to keep a bird in flight in focus. Thanks for watching.